Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Monero and welcome back to our Minecraft PS4 edition. Uh, so today guys, we are going to be going out and collecting some resources. Uh, I built a chest and put some of our junk in it as you can see. I also cooked up a bunch of charcoal for us because I figured we will need some torches as we're going on the hunt for a ravine or a cave system or something to go spelunking in. Uh, before we get started though, I just wanted to say uh, thank you for the reception on the first video it far exceeded what I thought it was going to. Uh, you guys are absolutely amazing. The support is amazing and I really, really appreciate it. Uh, I also appreciate all the feedback as far as where you think we should set up our kingdom and the general consensus seems to be that we should build it on flat land because if we're building a castle it makes more sense. Uh, but I think what we'll do is we'll probably build it around here somewhere. That way the village is nice and close by because when I think of a castle I often think of it uh, sitting there looming over a impoverished village or something like that. So that's kind of what our castle is going to be like. And I thought having the jungle as a backdrop would be really nice. And we may build some like treetop kind of uh, watchtowers or gangplanks in the jungle. That could be really cool. Have like an Ewok village type sprawling um, walkway system through the tops of the jungle. That's just a couple ideas in my head. Obviously that's way way down the line. We are still very much getting started. And so we need to resource collect today. The other thing that I've done since last episode is I purchased a couple skin packs because I figured, you know what, we're playing the PlayStation Edition. So I thought, let's make it feel like the PlayStation Edition. And we are now using a Jack skin. So if you don't know who this character is, this is Jack from Jack and Daxter, which is one of my favorite game franchises of all time. It is the franchise that made me fall in love with Naughty Dog. Uh, of course, Naughty Dog did Crash Bandicoot before that, but I was never a big Crash Bandicoot fan. It was Jack and Daxter that made me love that company. Then they went on to make the Uncharted series and most recently of course they made The Last of Us. All of them are games I absolutely love. Uh, so let's have a quick look at the skin pack for those of you who are interested. We have a few here. We got three skin packs. So we got skin pack one, skin pack two, skin pack three and they have like some I think generic skin packs that are in all the editions but then they have some exclusives like Jack and you can also play as uh, Daxter as well. Uh, we got a whole bunch of weird ones over here. We had a peek at last time. I don't know if there's anything else new in here. No, we had a look at that one last time. Whoops. Uh, so now what we need to do is we can go to skin pack two has a bunch of new exclusive ones as well. We've got uh, super meat boy here. I don't think that's an exclusive, but there are a few if we go down here that are really, really cool. Uh, so we have Ratchet and Clank, obviously a PlayStation game. I was never a huge Ratchet and Clank fan. Uh, we also have Infamous, which is another series I love. We have Journey, one of my all time favorite games. We got the last of us skins. I actually thought of playing as Joel because he was trying to survive a zombie apocalypse and this is a survival game, but I decided to go with Jack instead because that game holds a special place in my heart. It was it was one of my favorite PS2 titles and then at PS3 as well when they uh, the sequels came out that were, I think were just called like Jack 1 and Jack 2. So we're going with this skin and I think it looks pretty cool. I love the ears. I really like the ears. Uh, anyway, enough screwing around. Let's get ourselves prepared. Uh, we need wood. That is what I was about to go collect before I got sidetracked because uh, I only have one stick left. So we're going to go quickly grab some wood so that we can make ourselves some torches and then we're going to head out and look for a ravine or a cave system. Uh, now we came from this direction over here so I'm thinking we might keep heading in the opposite direction. Would it be a good idea to try and find something uh, and hopefully we can find ourselves a big ravine or a big cave and lots of resources and materials, get ourselves some iron working soon. I was thinking what what we might do is we might make ourselves a cobble generator using some lava and uh, some water. That way I can just mine up lots and lots of cobble without having to go down into a mine system or a, uh, you know, ravine or something when we get to building and we'll have a, a pretty much an infinite supply there. It's mind numbing and boring to sit there mining up at a cobble gen, but you know, it's, it makes it a little bit easier for when we need to get building, especially since, you know, this is a pretty ambitious project we're embarking on here on this new adventure, uh, building a castle and a kingdom. It's a pretty big task and you know, I'm just one man. So I need, I need all the help I can get. Uh, we got some wood. So let's make ourselves some planks here. Uh, let's make ourselves 12 sticks and we will use 
this 12 charcoal to make ourselves some torches. I'm sure we'll find coal when we are down digging away, so it doesn't matter if we use up a lot of this. Uh, how many are we going to get? Let's go. Let's just use it all. Screw it. Screw it. So we got 48. All right, well, let's put some of this stuff away that we don't need. We have food on us. I did go and kill a few pigs and stuff, so we, we have something to eat when we're out and about. We got torches. We have tools that are all repaired. We got stone tools. We have that iron pickaxe we were lucky enough to get from this village. Uh, so let's head out and see what we can find. Go on a... Oh, hello, sir. Scared the crap out of me. Uh, let's go on a little adventure and see if there's anything exciting out here. And I gotta say, we got a pretty amazing seed. Um, the fact that we were able to start up, uh, get wool straight away, we found a village pretty quickly, we got iron, uh, we it was just a really, really good seed, which is rare for me. Normally I get pretty bad ones. And we had an amazing start. That first episode, oh, there's like a cave system over there, but I think this might be a ravine. Oh wow. Here I am speaking about how good the seed is, and we've hit a ravine straight away that is literally at the doorstep of the village. What an amazing world we've gotten here. We are very hungry, I just noticed too. So let's munch on that, munch on an apple to top ourselves up a little bit, and try to make our way down into this... Oh, and a mine shaft! Holy crap. The Minecraft gods have blessed us with this seed. They truly have. Wow, it just keeps getting better and better. The more we explore and head out, we seem to be finding more things that make this an amazing uh, starting area. Well, I guess we didn't quite start here, but we didn't have to travel very far to get here. Uh, so let's just dig our way down and be very careful. I don't want to fall off here and kill myself. I did see some iron down here, so I kind of want to try to get to that. Let me just have a peek where it is. Uh, so there's some iron right there. There's coal there, there's more coal down there, I think there might be more iron down there as well. Okay, so let's get that iron, let's get that coal, and then we'll make our way over to the uh, mine shaft, and we'll go explore that. We'll see if we can find any monsters to slayeth, and uh, see if we can find some chests to loot. Do mine shafts have chests in them? I thought they did. I know that they often have, they, well, not often, I think they always have a spider spawner in them. So I'm assuming there's got to be like a chest or some kind of reward for venturing into one. Or maybe not, maybe chests are just generated in villages and dungeons. I do not know. Vanilla Minecraft, as I said last time, don't play it enough to know these finite little details. Uh, what I do know, though, is this isn't running on 1.6. Uh, as someone pointed out, no horses. So it can't be running on 1.6 if there's no horses. So it must be 1.5 that it's running on. I hope that it catches up to the PC version, especially since the new PC release adds, like, water monsters and water dungeons. It'd be amazing for this to catch up to that. I think one of the restrictions at the moment is that this doesn't have ocean biomes. Because generally when you hit the ocean in the console versions, that's when you're hitting the end of the world. Uh, so since ocean biomes aren't in, I don't think they would have the water guardians or anything implemented until they figure out that system. Um, yeah, so that'll be interesting to see how it develops along. And we're going to be here for the ride, building our kingdom along the way. The mightiest kingdom the lands have ever seen. Uh, there's more iron right below me too, so we're going to go down and grab that as well. How's my pickaxe doing? It's doing okay. It is doing okay. There we go. We're right above the iron. Is this a bad move? Oh no, that was a good move. Wow! We hit the Shangri-La of iron. This is amazing! I don't know why I stopped mining that one halfway through. I could have got it. Don't ask me. Let's get that. And this music is definitely music I have not heard before. I have not heard this on the PC version. I can say that pretty confidently. Ah, oh, jump down. Let's risk it. Grab ourselves this iron up here as well. There we go. Cool. What was that noise? Oh, I missed some. Some floating up there. It escaped me. Thought I heard like a spider or something. I'm thinking to myself, it's it's too bright out here for there to be a spider. Oh, there's water there too. We'll have to keep track of that because we definitely want to get a bucket of water. Uh, I should have brought some wood with me so we could make a crafting table. Uh, uh, we should be able to make one pretty easy anyway. If we're in a mine shaft, we can just harvest some of the wood around, make ourselves a crafting table, and that way we can uh, make ourselves a another furnace, a bucket, and uh, collect ourselves some water, and hopefully we come across some lava as well. We get a cobble generator center. Oh, wow, wow. Dig away coal, and there's iron behind it. This is amazing. Can't believe that. How much iron have we got already? And we haven't even made it to the mine shaft yet. Let's have a quick peek here. How much iron do we have? 15 iron. And we're not even in here. Uh, okay, it's getting dark. It's going to start getting dangerous. There's going to be creepers and zombies and skeletons out. Uh, so we need to get indoors. I don't know if this is the safest indoors though, but it'll do for now. 
It's probably safer than being out in the wide open world. Is that a zombie? I think that's a zombie dead ahead, guys. Our first encounter with these undead fiends. And whoa, more iron. Iron galore down here. Uh, we might go and take this guy out first so he doesn't try and sneak up on me, though. I would not like that. I also hear spiders. Hello? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. There you are. There you are, you son of a gun. And you're going down, sir. Do not hit me. Do not hit me. It's a good thing that we have that uh, iron chest plate, too. That'll give us a huge boost down here. A big helping hand defending off the hordes of evil. Okay, so we've lit up the area. We should be relatively safe to start harvesting some of this stuff down here. Uh, we are definitely going to collect some of this wood so we can make ourselves a... Oh, I want to knock that one down. No. So we can make ourselves a uh, crafting table. So let's gather some of this as well. We'll get a is that another zombie? Oh, that scared the crap out of me. I thought there was another zombie there. You can't be here, foul creature. I've lit the area up. Gather a bunch of wood so we can make a crafting table, so we can make sticks. There we go. And uh, let's gather... Was there more iron back this way? No, it was right here when we first encountered it. There we go. Okay, so grab the rest of this iron. We'll get some cobblestone as well so we can make another furnace here. And then we can make ourselves a bucket and collect some of this water. And there's also lava right here. So we can get some lava as well. Things are going well. What an amazing, amazing world. I mean, mine shafts, villages, sheep, cows, food, pigs, iron galore. It's got everything. It has everything. Uh, some people also told me that they are going to be playing on this seed, which is really cool. That, that makes me excited. I really want to see what people create in the same world that I'm playing in. Uh, if you want to send me pictures and stuff of your progress, do that on uh, Facebook or Twitter. The links are in the description. I use them pretty much on a daily basis. You can get in contact with me via them. I just got stuck. What was that? Ah, oh, you. You dastardly cobweb. You're coming down, buddy. You're coming down. There we go. Okay, so yeah, if you are playing on the same seed and you want to show me what you have created, send me a screenshot or something. Take a photo and uh, throw it my way and I'll have a look at it. I really, really am excited to see what other people do with this world. I know someone already said they're going to build a uh, like jungle fort or a treetop castle or something like that since I'll probably be building mine on the ground uh, since it is going to be a kingdom. Just check down here really quickly. Uh, it's very dark down there. Very, very dark. Uh, let's make ourselves this crafting table quickly. And then we'll place this down and make ourselves a furnace. Didn't mean to put my shovel away. I did turn up like the sensitivity of the controls a little bit. So it's going to take me a while to get used to these. Uh, okay, now we need a furnace. There we go. Place that down. Feels like a bit of a waste of resources, but it is fine. So we should get, what, seven iron from that or something? Hopefully. I think so. So that'll go in there. While we're waiting for that to cook, let's explore down here a little bit. See if we can find this spider spawner. Uh, looks like we have some stairs going up here. I'm really surprised we've only encountered one uh, zombie. I thought we would have encountered a lot worse than that by now. I see some more water down there, so we can collect some of that. I also did see that iron back there, don't worry. I have spotted it. I just thought I'd light up the area first, and there's more iron up here. Oh, cool. I need to get across that gap, though. Nothing nasty behind me. No skeleton's going to poke me in while I'm busy over here. Uh, let's get some cobblestone down here. We'll build ourselves a little platform across. And we'll gather this iron as well. Iron go- Oh, God. Oh, God, creeper, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Oh, shit, I didn't hear that until it was too late. Wow. Wow. The sound effect was down really low and the music is still really loud, but I turned them both down a bit, so let me fix this. What is going on here, audio? Oh. Turn the music down even more. That's overbearingly loud. There we go. Has that changed at all? It doesn't really sound like it's changed much at all. Uh, okay, we'll have to, you know, we'll configure that and work it out over the next few episodes. You guys let me know if the music's too loud, if the sound effects are too low, stuff like that. And here we go. More iron. Wonderful. How much do we have on us? Eight, and we've still got like 20 or something. Oh, is that a spider? Am I seeing? Oh, it must have been the flame. I thought I saw red eyes, but I think it might have been the torch. It scared me for a second there. Darn creepers. He got me perfectly, we got to admit that. He did exactly what a creeper is meant to do and snuck up on me. I had no idea he was friggin' there until it was too late. Okay, there we go. 
And, oh, more iron, more lava, more water. This really is the jackpot. I need to grab that. Already got it. Let's go down and check on our iron that's cooking and make ourselves a uh, bucket here so we can collect some of this. Nothing nasty be down here. All right. Let's get out the eight iron. It is eight. I wasn't sure how much iron you get per one coal. I thought it was eight. So there we go. Uh, bucket, bucket, bucket. So we need two buckets here. One, two. Um, maybe we should make ourselves another pickaxe of stone. Because I don't really want to waste the iron one just yet. So we may do that. So let's make ourselves another stone pickaxe here. Um, we're probably going to break ours on this. No, it didn't break. Okay. Let's get this back here. May as well take them even though we have some back home. Let's actually break this pickaxe. Let's just get it broken. There we go. That's a lot better. Put this one down. Cool. And we are good to move on now that we got these buckets. Let's get them in our hot bar down here. Now, where is this lava source block? That's what we want to try and get to right now. We want to try and get to this lava source block. I think it'll be up here. So hopefully... We can, like, safely reach it. I'm worried. Yeah, if I knock out that block, that's going to spill. And the lava... Where is it? Is it back there? Okay, so, yeah, if we can get in behind it. There it is. Okay, we did it. And boom. We got a bucket of lava. That should start disappearing now, hopefully. And let's go get some water. Was it over this way? I think we saw some water. So let's go grab that. I really should uh, grab some of these minecart tracks as well because I do want to set up like a minecart system so that we can actually get villagers over to our kingdom when we build it. I really want to build like a marketplace and have villagers set up in the marketplace. And in order to do that, we need to actually um, set up a little minecart track and actually push them into the minecart. And that's how you can make them travel around because they should, from what I understand, go into the minecart. Uh, let's block this lava off here because we need to get to that water but I don't want to destroy the source block in case we need more in the future let's drop down I am mighty nervous it is very very dark down here so let's torch up the place a little bit anyone down here with me or am I all alone hello I think I'm all alone I think the fact that it's eerily quiet is even more terrifying to me oh and a chest here we go. My question has been answered. Oh, melon seeds, coal, and iron. Oh, wow. That is amazing. So my question about whether there's chests in mine shafts or not just got answered. And the answer is yes. Yes, there are chests in mine shafts. Uh, let's get this bit of iron here. Oh, there's like a secret passage back there. Might poke our heads in and see if there's anyone home. There we go. Hello? Anyone in here? No? No one's in here? Oh, it's very, very dark. Let's get torches put up here. We'll try and get this water maybe. Maybe we should go back around the other side and attack it from there. Because that's going to push me back and annoy me. Uh, but then there is this lava here that's a bit of a worry. Maybe we should just block this lava. Oh, we won't destroy the source block because it's in there. So this should get rid of the lava there. Oh, and it also got rid of all the light. We need to get torch down. And let's... Uh, I'm stuck in a cobweb. Let's get rid of these cobwebs first. And then we'll try and get a bucket of water here there we go cool all right where is your source block water where is your source block and i think we might have got it yes we did we got it oh awesome so we got what we came down here for we have a lot of iron we have 31 iron we have buckets of water we have buckets of lava. We got uh, some seeds and stuff. We found a chest. I kind of would like to find the spider spawner, though, to know where it is. Uh, that way we could set up, like, a spider farm or something like that. Or if we wanted to come down and just grind XP, we know where it is. Uh, so we will collect this coal, and then we might try and find that. There we go. I also hear a zombie growling away. So there's more dangers probably lurking ahead for us. And I don't know if there's more chests. It'd be nice to find another chest. That one was okay. I mean, we got melon seeds, which means we can plant those, which is really, really nice. And we may as well collect all this coal here because we are definitely going to need it. We got a shit ton of iron we're going to need to cook up. So we want to get tons and tons of coal. Plus, coal is always one of those things that you think to yourself, oh, I've got enough coal. And then something crops up when you need it and all of a sudden you can't make any torches or you can't cook anything and you think you facepalm so hard that your hand actually goes through your face. 
out your roof into your neighbor's house and you, they just shake hands with you. It's kind of awkward uh, because you realize, you know what, I should have been collecting all that coal. Uh, let's put another torch up here. There's a big empty room right there that... Oh god, that makes me nervous. That makes me incredibly nervous. We're going in. We're risking it. We're risking it. And it's empty. Whew! You would have thought that would have been a haven. An absolute haven for something nasty. I can hear zombies. I can't see zombies. I can also hear spiders, but I can't see them either. Huh. Well, let's head back out this way, I think. Is this the way we came in? No. Uh, that's where the chest is. So what's down here? More coal? Okay, I can hear those spiders get- Oh god, there's a zombie. That scared the crap out of me. Back! Back, buddy! Back, foul beast! You son of a gun! Get out of here! Alright. Let's put up more torches. What's down here? Is this just looping around? Oh! Shit! <laughs> oh, that was absolutely terrifying. That was absolutely terrifying. Oh, I'm stuck in a cobweb. That's not good. Oh, I did not expect that at all. It just came out of the darkness and hit me right in the face. Wow. Okay. What is down here? Uh, nothing down there. There's more iron here, more coal as well to collect. So let's gather these really quickly and then we might start making our way back to the surface and we can drop some of this stuff off before we get shot in the face again and killed by a friggin' skeleton. That guy was like a ninja. Oh, and there is a gigantic hole underneath me. Uh, so we've got to be careful mining this up or we might fall into it. I've got all the coal that I'm going to get because I don't feel like endangering my life any further and falling down there. Uh, I'm going to make my way back to the surface now because I think we're okay. We have a lot of coal. We have a lot of iron. We got the buckets and stuff. We should make our way back before anything goes incredibly wrong and we die. Uh, it is a bit of a maze down here though, so I'm already feeling slightly disorientated and lost as well and now I'm incredibly on edge after getting shot in the face and attacked by zombies. These guys are not nice at all. Okay, we came this way. We came this way because this is where we set up our crafting table and furnace before, I think. Was this it? Uh, was this the way out? No, we definitely didn't come from that way because there's no torches. Must be down here and to the left, I think. Uh, yep, that's where we dug out the floor. So, uh, out here. Yeah, I think we found the exit. I can see some light. I see the light. Ah, morning. Beautiful. Nice bright day to come out of a dreary, dark minecart. So now that we are out and in the safety of the sunlight, guys, I'm actually going to have to end this episode here because I'm all out of time for today. I'm going to head back. I'm going to smelt up some of this iron and uh, sort out our inventory a little bit. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to throw it a rating. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe to see more Minecraft videos. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.